Greetings, YouTube. You know, every once in a while, I'll get a message on my channel asking, and this is mainly people who are intermediate players, meaning they played for at least about a year. They've got rosters that are about 200K rating or above, and they're in the position, and I was in this position about a year, a year and a half ago, in an alliance where you've been doing mostly map three and map four, and now you're thinking about stepping up to map five and maybe even trying map six, but you're not sure if the crystal rewards are worth the increase in donations and also what the major difference is for difficulty because, of course, map six is much harder than map five, and so you're going to be sacrificing potions and revives that could be used, especially now in the new Alliance War seasons in Alliance War. So, yes, this video is not for people who are the top, top champions who grind map six three times a week. This is not a video trying to disprove that map five crystals are better than map six. That's like trying to say, hey, bro, I don't understand in Monopoly why you're trying to say going to jail is as good as passing go. Although we could get into a separate debate about the, the value of free parking, but that's an entire another video. If you play Monopoly and you don't put money in free parking and it's just a free space, you are basically eating fat-free Lunchables with your board games. All right, so today we are going to open 100 Map 5 Alliance Quest Crystals and 25 Map 6. I like this ratio because it is a 4 to 1 ratio, so it gives you an idea if you have 5 days of an Alliance Quest, right? If you do what I do, and that's run four days of map five and one day of map six, what are your rewards going to look like after about a month? So again, this is mainly for those intermediate players who are thinking about running one day of map six and four days of map five. If you're running five days of map six and donating a crap ton, but also getting a lot of rewards, good for you. I am happy to hear that. This is not for you. All right, so we're going to do this in batches of 10 because ain't nobody got time to watch these things spin out. That sounds like a bad day at the DMV. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna try to keep track of all the fully formed crystals we get. And we have our first batch open. Now, I also wanna say as a caveat that you wanna make sure to scroll all the way to the right when you do this so that you don't miss a fully formed. Now, did I miss a fully formed? No, but hopefully, Somewhere in this next 90, I will have seen one. All right, we got a Catalyst formed, a Mystic. Always love that Mystic cat. And we still have no fully formed in the first 20. I would say on a good odd, you get one fully formed for every 50. Um, maybe you've had better luck. Maybe you've had worse luck. That is not a fully formed. That was formed before. So we have hopefully another fully formed in the next 20 to keep up those odds. And... Is that a fully formed? I think so. Okay, we got our first fully formed. It is a cosmic, and that is ahead of the game in terms of odds. All right, we got another naturally formed. This time it's a basic, and still the cosmic fully formed is the only one. And we're scrolling to the right. It's very difficult for me. Maybe it's easy for you, but it's difficult for me to get a naturally fully formed uh, basic to pop out of these. Uh, okay, I think we got a second fully formed. I think we got a science, which means I have officially hit the RNG luck for 100, and these 30 are just bonus. Okay, we're going to scroll to the right and not get any. Looks really cool, though. My brother, who does not play this game, thinks these just look like giant jacks, and to his credit, they uh, they kind of are. Okay, still uh, no. Now, notice we have over one and a half in just shards for the basic. Uh, almost, we'll have another one when we open these map six. Okay, so I believe I got two fully formed, and then I completed the rest. And you'll see that out of 100, if you don't get the fully formed, map five crystals are still kind of bad because you only have like 8,000 out of 36,000, right? So about... A little bit more than 25% of one filled. And if you're looking for your first rank 5 4-star, which is a huge achievement in the game, uh, you're looking at having to get three more of those. And so it takes a long time. It takes a very long time. Okay, so now we're going to compare that to our 
super thirsty map six crystals. And the big difference in these is that you get tier two alpha shards, and those are amazing. So here's the first batch of ten. Oh, three catalyst forms. Uh, that's pretty exciting. And one of them is the tier two alpha. Now, please note this was formed. I did not pull a fully formed out of it, although it does look very cool. Even though I look at that and it reminds me of a children's toy. All right, next batch of ten. And I don't believe we got another fully formed. Nope, but we did get another 1,300 amount of uh, Tier 2 Alphas. And then last but not least, the last five. Any fully formed? Do we actually have better luck in the fully formed of map five? I think so. I don't think I don't think I, uh, I formed this. If, if I did, comment below and let me know I'm wrong. That would not be history. <laughs> uh, okay, so, you know, if you're looking to do map 5 and map 6 and do one day of map 6 and the rest of map 5, this is about what you should expect from months' work. It's something that's going to get you in position slowly but surely to rank up your champions, and it does require a healthy amount of donations. I want to highlight that by showing you real quick to end this video what it takes in my alliance each week. Because if you are not an arena grinder, uh, sometimes it's tough to make, especially the gold donations. You will see in my alliance that it requires 180,000 gold, 30,000 battle chips, and 16.6k in loyalty to have a almost 15 million alliance. So there you go. Thanks for watching if you're still watching. Hope uh, this video treated you well. Remember to put the money on free parking and Monopoly. And uh, as always, uh, yesterday's deal, the branded crystal didn't turn out great, but I saw a lot of people who, who's did. So congrats if you got a five-star Sentinel or a five-star Bishop. Also, I want to emphasize uh, something very important that if you want those deals, but you don't want to spend any money and you're a free-to-play player, it is still possible to get them without spending money. And again, that's through Swagbucks. I do it every day. I've built up a credit this month of already $70 towards more iTunes credit because mine's about out. And that referral link will from now on always be in the information section of my video. So if you miss it on one video, you can get it on the next one. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a wonderful weekend. I think this is going to drop on Sunday. So have a wonderful Sunday. And until next video... Enjoy what is hopefully now becoming spring weather.